back out on the field I was on last week where I found a Saxon coin. I've just pulled something out of the ground, I don't know what it is. Nothing on it, whether it's a coin or a bit of lead, I don't know. I'll ask the other lads, they might know what it is. Could be a Roman. So, right, iffy signal. I have got it out of the ground and he blew my ears off. Oh well. Uh, one of my mates that was here with me last week came back, uh, we were here on Thursday, he came back on Friday and he found um, an Iron Age coin, a little bit bigger than a Minim, a right nice one. Right, moving on. Let's flip the dirt over on that one, look, there's a coin season there, what that is. He's got a mark in the dirt there. <coughs> Excuse me. It looks like it's probably another George 2 or 3 or Roman this time, not thick enough. Alright, whatever we've got that man in the hole, really iffy signal. Banging signal out there, look, a nice big horse brass with an N on it. A nice one, a right banging signal that was. Right. Probably came off a big shire horse. Right, I'm going to go for a musket ball at a whopper. Does that have something like 58 or 59 kilogram or 60? I don't know, something like that. Bloody heavy, whatever. I think it's been fired. Distorted at all. Nice one, it's cracking signal. It's been right. about four foot. You see that? Look, there's another one. Another whopper. That don't look like it's been fired either. Christ, how heavy. Can you imagine one of those hitting you? Christ almighty, I'd make a hole and a half. Right, it's come out of that hole there. I've got to find it, but look. Another, another little minim. Not about. It is a minim. Oh, I don't know. That could be hammered. I can see, I can see a cross in the middle of that. I'll clean it up and come back later. Yeah, that's about that hole there. Nice little lead token. Look. Oh, and that uh, last coin I had. We've had a look at it, and it's uh, Charles the first penny. Place this cab. <laughs> I wonder what that was off. Probably something to do with the farm. Yeah, what do you say it is? That no one's a Lizzie. A Lizzie half groat. It's got a two on it, so it's a groat, isn't it? It's a groat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice one. Can you turn him over? Oh, that's a nice. Yeah, right. That'll do. Yeah, lovely. It's all right, right. Let's stop for a cup of tea. My coil didn't charge up properly, so I'm now using my stem with Rob's spare coil on, and I'm running on uh, his program, which is uh, multi-tone, I think. And uh, just popped a coin up, I think. Where is it? Just down, where is it down there? Can you see it? I think that is. Oh, that is very thin, whatever it is. The only problem with this soil is very acidic and it's uh, as the coins in completely. Yeah, let's have us a thin look. I expect it's another George third or second copper. Half penny or probably something like that. Alright, so we'll have a look when you get another coin down there. That's sort of farthing size one. So far gone. 
Can't see what it is. It's about the size of a farthing anyway. No, can't see nothing on that. Just to prove it ain't all coins. Look at that. And a big chunk of iron. Because it got a hole in it, it's giving it a lovely signal. And then laying on the ground next to the hole, the bottle stopper. That's nice, a bit broken, but uh, still a nice find. I'll keep that one. I might put it in the pocket. We're just getting ready to go home, and uh, Rob's just found you've still got it in your hand. There's a little love, whoops, you just thrown it on the floor. Little, uh, little love token. What is it? George II. George II. You're right, keep that mad dog under control. Here you go. And, uh, See that in, in situ there, look. Is it a coin or is it a button? Oh, it's a bent coin. Oh, it's a thin one. Let's have a look. It's like the plows it that. I expect it's a George II, George III. Half penny again. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Different field. Yeah, two targets, two coins. Right.